Hey guys, it's your favorite mystic, the Siren Simmer, and here we are back on my channel. Now today, I'm finally going to be talking to you guys, commentary style. Um, this is a pretty sim build that I have been working on. So with this particular sim, I'm probably going to be playing her in my spare time. If you guys want to see what's going on with her, please let me know. I'm planning to make this fabulously wealthy woman that just can't wait to have kids. So it's probably going to be also a type of legacy, but not the same one as the Asian woman that I'm going to be posting on my channel very soon. She kind of gives old black wealth, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be pretty lit. Anyways, for this commentary, as you can see, she's being made here. I might just talk about some other things. Um, what I plan to do with my channel, where I want all of this to go. Um, I'm doing this for fun. This is kind of my passion project. Of course, when you make a YouTube channel, there's always a chance of making money, but I'm not really here for that because number one, it's going to take too long and I'm not that patient. Um, number two, I kind of need an outlet to talk. Um, in my life, for those of you who know who I am, I don't necessarily have all that many people to talk to about all the things that I think all the time. So, I'll be using this channel to not only play my favorite game, Sims 2 and 3, but I'll also be using this to vent every now and then things that I feel comfortable to vent here and to talk about stuff. And sometimes I will talk about the sim that I'm making. Um, so. I'm glad that you guys are here with me for this journey. And I'm so sorry that I posted like damn near five videos and didn't say anything. I was just really worried about what I could say, how I could say it. Because I take the idea of putting myself out there very seriously. I'm not one of those people who just put themselves out there because they have a dream. And then when the cons of putting yourself up there, out there comes up, I'm all of a sudden like oh my god I can't handle this like no I I've always said that I would start a YouTube channel once my skin was thick enough for me to handle it and considering that I'm in customer service on the phone I think my skin is just about thick enough especially considering how I feel about my job but maybe we'll get to that at another point um so yeah my name is Siren Simmer I've been playing The Sims for a while um, the way I play The Sims is pretty short-term goal-oriented, so I won't necessarily play a family for like five generations and see how it goes. It's more like I want to see what happens when you get to this level of gardening and make this plant, or I want to know how to grow a certain type of tree, I want to know how to find a certain type of animal, I want to know how to do this sort of scientific experiment, and I'll make a sim for them to specifically do that. Um, I'm not saying it what the exact things are because hopefully I can make that as content. You know, as you watch my gameplay, you'll see all of the really out the box things that happen when you play The Sims, which are incredible. <laughs> but um, yeah, I usually play The Sims that way. So when I do that, I can get burnt out, not necessarily burnt out. With The Sims, it's just kind of like a regular thing for me. I'll play it for a long time and then I'll stop playing it because you know I'm kind of just like eh, I did what I had to do now I'm on to other things and then I'll just go watch my TV shows do my school or whatever else I have to do at the time um, but now you know as talks are coming out about the Sims 5 and all that controversy over Sims 4 wedding stuff Ugh, Sims 4 we can talk about that another time but I'm just like I really appreciate the fact that I have both of these games and I want to play them to the max like enjoy them and since I'm doing YouTube for fun I should be able to incorporate the sims for fun get some simple content nothing is easy but anything can be simple that is something I'm trying to live by um, so yeah also with the sims 2 what I plan to do is probably do more gameplay with the sims 2 and more sim creations with the sims 3 as i am more of a creator simmer than a gameplay simmer as you know i i kind of play games for a specific goal and then once i achieve that i stop so with the sims 3 it's easy for me to just try and do a goal and then stop but with the sims 2 it's an old game but 
when I used to play it, I only had The Sims 3. I played The Sims 2 for like half a second when I was a kid at someone else's house. So I really don't know how to play it like that. I've seen a lot of Sims 2 gameplay videos or really just machinimas. You know, back in the day, they used to make music videos and movies and short little shows out of The Sims 2. So I've seen it in that aspect, but I didn't know how they did any of that. <laughs> so in that aspect, The Sims 3 is way easier because they make the idea of just videotaping your own gameplay and posting for people to see that's a lot simpler than it, that it was doing a machinima back in the day so oh we're five minutes in and i still have a lot to talk about so what i also plan to do here with the sims 2 i'm probably going to make one person i might make them so you can see or i might not because i have a lot of cc which is custom content in the game so making of a sim might take a lot longer and i really don't feel like <laughs> doing that and then pasting it into the game but i might i might what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make one person and since it's kind of like gonna be a learning curve for you and me both i will possibly just play her as an adult put her in university so we can get some real gameplay going because if you're alone People will come to your house on the first day. That's how The Sims is. Any Sim game. You make a person, you put them in the house. You can make more than one if you want, but you place them in a house. And then immediately neighbors will swarm by to say hi. And that's sort of like a cheaty way that you can instantly make a friend who will decide if you're going to take somebody, man, or be with this single guy. You can immediately just start your life from there. They already give you princes and people you can get to know and start your journey in that town. Same thing that happens in The Sims 2. However, I feel like if I decide to go through the university track, I'll have more things that I'm forced to do other than being an adult and just being able to live in a home until I need to pay a bill and then try to figure out how jobs work. I'd much rather do the schooling thing. That way I could do some jobs on the side meet people kind of like really start somebody's life so that you and I can go through all of that together and see how it is so I will be making a person putting it through university life so that depending on how long this gameplay will go for this particular sims 2 that we will be doing together maybe even a year from now you can be like oh remember when so and so was just made and went to university all the wild antics that went on because the sims 2 is a little bit more wild than the sims 3 is uh, yeah it is it is <laughs> of course there are debates about what's better sims 1 2 3 or 4 well let's not let's not say sims 1 sims 1 is like nostalgia bait it's heralded as the first but 2 3 or 4 which one is better most people don't really put 4 in the conversation they usually just argue it out between 2 and 3 and i'm okay with that even though i'm more of a sims 3 person definitely I can definitely see why people will prefer The Sims 2 and that is why I'm gonna start playing it so I can enjoy all that stuff too. Um, a little bit of a tangent about The Sims 4 since we're on that topic as well. I'll watch people play it. I have watched people play it. So it's not like it's the worst game in the world but the people that I watch play it are people who are very creative. When I watch people play The Sims 3 or even The Sims 2 they don't necessarily have to be very creative because the game will be creative for you. Things will happen in the game that even if you're coming into a lull in your gameplay, boom, there's a fire, boom, there's a burglary, boom, let me not spoil anymore, right? But in The Sims 4, nothing will happen unless you make it happen. Nobody can fight me on that. You need mods to make things magically have happened or to add things into the game that aren't there to make things magically happen. So when I watch certain people play The Sims 4, like I used to watch Burleazy play The Sims 4, I don't think I saw everything he did, but he made it fun because he's a very creative person. He instigated fights, made a lot of jokes, tried to be with certain types of women. Like, he made it interesting without mods. Other people that I would watch, like Carmen King, shout out Carmen King, and Kia, they made it interesting because of their personalities. And so that is why The Sims 4 is ranked so low. It kind of forces you to be more creative. And that's not a bad thing. But you don't necessarily buy a simulation game to be more creative. With the way my brain works, I can just lie down in my bed for like three hours and imagine an entire television show of new characters in my head and do that for myself. I don't need to play The Sims 
to do that you know I don't need to do that so for me I kind of want something that I can play and enjoy myself come up with a base story and then have the game help me bring it to life which is why I play The Sims 3 and why I will be playing The Sims 2 something else that we will be doing there are two versions of The Sims 2 that do exactly what I just said lead you story wise it's called Sims Life Story and Sims Pets Life Story and also Sims Castaway which is a Sims 2 thing there's also Sims 3 Medieval that's kind of like that as well. I will be playing all of those on my channel as much as I can because screen recording everything is getting kind of difficult. Um, not going to get too much into it but because of how high resolution it is it takes up a lot of space on my computer so I have to keep on moving stuff onto an external hard drive blah blah blah. So I'll be trying to do that as much as I can uh, but with those things it will be a lot easier. We can join the journey together. They, with The Sims 2, they really thought out those those three games I brought up. Life Stories, Pets Life Stories, and Castaways. They thought of those stories. There are many different ways they could go. But any way that they go, it's interesting, it's intriguing. Of course, there are lulls. No game is completely perfect with non-stop action all the time. But if I plan to commentate over it, that'll make up for whatever may not be happening at the moment. Can't wait to play that with you guys. I've seen... Like the first parts of all three of those well life stories and castaways i haven't really seen anyone play pets life stories but for those i saw a piece of what it offers and just to be candid with you guys i was kind of nervous because it's like i can talk a lot and people who have known me since primary school since i was like a little kid i can tell a good story which kind of makes my fear very irrational but I think the issue is just that because I haven't told stories in a while I f it's almost like you mentally just can't remember that that's a strength you can't remember it because you just haven't done it so for me when I play The Sims I don't even really tell stories which is very interesting to me as a concept in my head you know people who knew me is like why would you worry about playing this game and coming up with a story to give us with it happening right there on screen featuring you tell stories all the time or you used to tell great stories I need to go back to that and this channel will help me with that so this channel is going to be as cathartic for me and hopefully entertaining for you um, if for any reason you're not really enjoying what you're seeing um, it's boring please 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 this is one of the reasons why I pick the music that I pick Something that I also do, um, I do like guided sleep or I have something playing in the background while I sleep, either for school or just comp music. I pick nice music. <laughs> I'm pretty good at music, you know, picking music too. I have very eclectic, long-ranging music taste. So you can just have my speed builds playing in the background because I probably will make a few speed builds and sim creations where there's just music and I maybe will not talk. You could just have those playing in the background with the music and just do whatever you gotta do because I would appreciate that um, I want to reach people you know I want to get a thousand subscribers and I think once I reach a thousand subscribers I'll be fine you know I've seen a thousand subscribers uh, I want to be able to say that you know I made a mark and that I was able to help myself and help other people so that would be super cool as well to do um, thank you guys so much if you're here listening up to this point um, there's other things that I will be talking about as well. If I'm not talking about The Sims, I will also be talking about TV shows that I watch. Now, if you're a guy and you watch this channel, some of them might not interest you, some of them may interest you. However, um, it all depends. I love stuff like Arcane, Invincible. I will watch stuff like Married at First Sight, Tyler Perry's Sisters, Riverdale. Now, you see the demarcation I made between shows I love and shows I watch? I'll explain that in another video, but just so you know, I'm not delusional. I'll watch trash TV and I'll call it trash, okay? I don't watch all types of trash TV, but I'm more realistic. You know, I'm not going to say everything is good just because I enjoy it from time to time, because that's just not realistic to me. <laughs> One thing I also hate is hypocrisy, so I might have some talks about people who fit that line as well. Um, also, we talk about pop culture maybe once or twice. Um, all you really got to know about me is that I love God. Ooh, 
controversy and Michael Jackson stan that may or may not be in a popular take Moonwalkers for Life and Doja Cat is the next legend of our generation and that's sad because you know she shouldn't be the only one but here we are so that's just some stuff to know about me um I love Shrimp Alfredo I love the color pink so that's just some stuff about me that you know now get to know me a little bit and I guess now that we're at the 15 minute mark we can talk about my sin here I kind of just wanted a very kind of like traditional woman but very highbrow I might make her a man or I might make her a final in Lucky Palms. I've never actually played this sim world, but I'm excited to try it out. She has a roommate. I might remove the roommate or I might make her keep the roommate. I don't know. It might give her more character to live with somebody in this decent ass house. I should make you guys really look at the house, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I got the idea from her from the hair that she is currently wearing. Um, I saw that hair and I thought... This outfit and this hair will tell a story and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to do the full gameplay myself, but to show you guys the gameplay, but I knew I was gonna play it by myself whenever I had time. However, I am doing university right now, so I'm in class mode as well, which is why I'm more likely to post speed videos where you just see the things happening and the pretty music is playing um, because it's easier to do that than to you know find something to talk about but you know I can just talk <laughs> I can just talk it doesn't have to be anything for me to be worried about I know what triggers people and what doesn't so I can regulate myself everybody has a filter you just have to figure out yours right right so also as well with this sim I don't know I just got inspired when I saw her I got inspired to play and that's why I'm sharing her with you guys I got really inspired to play when I saw her um, and I really wanted to use her for this portion um, so that you guys could see what's to come and use her video for me to talk over so you can, guys can finally hear me for more than a few seconds. <laughs> what if you guys like the intro where I sing a little bit? I was inspired by H2O, um, Just Add Water. It was this mermaid show that was made in Australia that has two to three people that you may know because they've been in some very popular American TV shows. They cross over pretty well. <laughs> um, one episode, the mermaids, you know, they get affected by the full moon. It's supposed to be negative, but for the most part, it's actually pretty good unless somebody figures out they're mermaids because of it you know let's keep it a secret or the government will steal them and experiment on them all that stuff it was pretty dark the idea that it's kind of like a teen kid show but one of the mermaids was a girl who couldn't seem to save her life until she actually looked at the full moon and then all of a sudden she could sing and it was how she sounded was kind of like I'm not gonna sing any more than that <laughs> but as I was thinking about Siren Simmer and I was like oh I could do a little bit of a Ooh, you know in my intro and everything I just want to be creative because I can be creative so why not do it um that would be interesting for me so that's where the came from um I could also talk about the solo shows that I love unpopular opinion about nostalgic shows that I love that have come back and are coming back um, new proud family I'm looking at you I downloaded the first episode I will watch it and I'm going to complain about it so let's just see um, what else can I say to you guys I'm, I'm kind of excited now that I've gotten the hang of talking I may feel nervous posting it to be honest this is a video that I should have um, what's it called broadcast um, I think my third video, Shari, Shari Reinhardt, Pretty Sim, Speed Creation. She was the first video that I texted a bunch of people. I was like, please watch my video. I didn't talk, but I just wanted them to see it and get some cute subscribers. So it wasn't just me and my sister subscribed to this channel. But honestly, I should have done this video, but I should have showed them this video in particular. But I was scared, you know, I didn't. I didn't want 
some of those people to hear my opinions there are some people I don't care it's people I've known since day one it's like you hear me talk like this all the time so now you just hear me talk like this while something creative is being done in the foreground other people they never really heard me talk like this um so I didn't really want to expose myself but hey we're on the internet now so hey guys welcome to my reawakening my rebirth (laughs) one thing that I've also been into very much so is my hero academia all right it is everything for me right now and I will be watching season six when it comes out however I will be waiting for the whole thing to come out so I can binge it because I do not feel like playing with My Hero Academia and all of these cliffhangers they used to do. Thank God I was able to watch every episode after the other and the corresponding movies because all of that waiting, it could never be me. (laughs) So also follow me on my anime journey. I'll talk about some anime I like, you know, current thoughts. Oh, and just about my hero academia it's a bakugo hate train out here yes it is we enjoy him for the show we know but if i was there i wouldn't like him and i would always telling Izu- izuka midoriya to mind his business because why why kachan anyways so thank you so much for listening to me and for being here for my channel um i really do love all of you who are listening to me and please do enjoy the rest of your day like we're here okay we're finally here i'm finally talking and it's about to be even more lit than it already is all right grow with me as i grow with you and have a great day simmies